machine ready, steady aim at the target I'm flooding the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind pardon No margin for error, flawless be rarer The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like some Hey, it's your girl, Mad Money, a.k.a. Trap, 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 and welcome to the Sort in the Game official album review of Vic Spencer's Spencer for Hire 3. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Now, Vic Spencer, he has been in the game for a while now. He also put out a dope project this year that I don't hear y'all talking about, y'all. Y'all should be more aware of what's going on, called Psychological Cheat Sheet. He also dropped a project not too long ago called uh sean no skimps you feel me that's kind of dope too we're going to get into a little bit of that later on here but this project right here spencer for hire three the third installment um to this series starts off with ironside hex doing his best google translate impersonation opening this album up it, it kind of caught me off guard so i was listening to it Vic spencer too you also had the uh privilege of letting me listen to this on the car test first you feel me? So you got this straight in the car test from me. Um, but it's called I Ain't Got No Weed Stash. And it's just a funny way to start off an album. Um, after that, it goes to a track called Eloquent Listening. And like the production on here, shout out to um, Sonny Gems. He also lends a couple verses on here. He's on a verse on here too. Uh, Sonny, he really did do um, Spencer for Hire too as well so the production here is what's keeping this whole thing cohesive to me because some of the some of the beats on here is crazy some of the sample work is crazy we're gonna get into all of that um but eloquent listening hey yo this was right here and i don't know it's something about when um sunny spits it makes me smile like he has this um accent about him and stuff like that and and, and he does have his own type of thing going on when he does hit the booth up like that like is it'll catch you off guard and stuff but he has some hot ass bars too so i definitely appreciate that um the sample on here is a sample by g gino Vellini. that's what i'm saying the sample he made me dig into crazy to figure out what was the samples going on in some of these tracks it's called i just want to stop i thought it was a dope way to um like incorporate what they were saying with this beat in particular which goes into the next track another infamous sample to get money sample but they're using the original and he's kind of like it's not even overproduced or anything like that or any cuts of all they're really using the true sample on the track um globe work now i appreciated this when this track came on i was like you know what i have to listen a little a little harder let me ride a little slow and listen a little harder because not only did the production catch my attention his bars on here caught my attention too he says i supposed to be in la but i'm up in the booth a century worker when i fuck with the youth i appreciate stuff like that you got to got to got to and throughout this project you will see that you know he's really really involved with tj the next upcoming generation just real shit like you know what i mean good bad whatever it's worth he's out there just to make sure that it's real and they're aware of what's real another um bar on here that made me like grin for real he said 57 cents for an hour worth of streams i keep an eighth of sour up in my jeans like something so simple like that like like it's like dope as hell so you know when it comes down to um vic his style sometimes his style could be unorthodox on the track but that's like it is intentional it's not like the beat getting away from him or anything like that because he could do it either way so with his wordplay that's involved he could go unorthodox or he could stay on it and really give it to you whatever whatever have you um then it's a track van damn it i really like the beat on that too then it's a track on here called nickel bags at the freak nick and i was not expecting this i didn't really know i thought i thought it would be like a more like him chilling at the freak no he's out here letting you know about his disdain for things that go on at the freak nick one of the um one of the bars on here came into the game just to meet you at your repast and stomp out your greek ass are you going there just to fight you going to freak nick to fight you know niggas go to freak nick for, for the bitches and shit like that you going there to fight i like that fucking energy um another little bar on here he said rappers is nasty last week i saw a weak ass rapper showing his ass cheeks so it's that type of like playful stuff that'll catch you off guard but that's his style that's unequivocally his style so salute him on that 
Then it went into the next track on here. This track is called Caressing Diamond Switches featuring C Rich. And again, um, Sunny Jim. So like it's crazy because like i'm not the smoothest nigga out there or whatever have you but if you pull up playing this track right here you got it you got it all night hands down like fix your weave then fix me type shit you feel me i am not mad at that and it's also like it reminded me of a track off of uh sean no no skimps called uh diamonds versus backwards so i guess you know diamonds won because Vic, you out here telling us how you only, you only smoking diamonds now. Well, I found that really, really, really funny. And just like a little play in the time on the work that he's been doing this year. Uh, the next track on here, C for One. This appreciation track and him like reminiscing and being retrospective about things that happened in his life. And him being happy about the progress that he's made. It, like this track made me notice too that he has this ability to just like talk to you. Like, he could just talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. It don't got to be this elevated level. It don't got to be none of this, you know, um, frills or anything going on. That he has the ability just to speak to you, talk to you, and hold your attention on these tracks. So dope. The next uh, track on here, GS3 Part 3. Um, this is a running song in the series. This is one of the connected tracks on here. This is featuring Huss Kingpin. Uh, Hus starts this off by uh, spitting the strain game. Just you know, he's he's spitting some fire on here. He ended his verse off saying, "Um, titties tatted with my face on it." I'm like, "Damn, son, you got it like that." I ain't even mad at you. Um, Sunny Jim, like I'm telling you, like something about his bars it makes me just smile. I don't know if it's the accent or what, but he just like something simple emergency emergency spliff in my sun visor. I was like, "Damn, son, like you trying to be like me?" And Vicky closes out this track strong um next track on here parachute made made of money featuring jeremiah j jeremiah j was a nice little surprise on here add a little bit of texture on here they was playing around with his vocals a little bit on here again with uh his wordplay i get fried i don't get fired like it's this thing of like he says these things and he flips these words around and it might seem very simple but it's like in the context of everything that's going on it's like damn son you out here you really killing it i really like that um the next track on here is a feature with Rome Streets, and I always am excited to see Rome Streets on, like, a Rome Streets verse to me is, like, second to none on the low. Choose it, um, choose it, not lose it. Choose it to lose it, uh, forgive me. They also got a remix on here produced by Big Ghost Limited that's at the end of this album for this particular track. It's just, like, it is crazy. Rome, he always has his way of just, like, he eleve elevates this style of like the cool 90s rapper that's why i always compare him to big l like he elevates this style and like talks about everything current the current rappers and everything like that but but it's so reminiscent it's so reminiscent of like real 90s lyricists that you'd be like taken back sometime by it so salute you on all day and tomorrow like i really really be out here vouching for you um then he has a, a feature on here from Shay Noir called The Best Natural Face. Like, yo, I ain't even mad at this feature. I'm, I like, Shay Noir, I really want to start right here and ask you, like, what is the best feature you've heard from Shay Noir? Not anything off her albums or her mixtape that have dropped her best feature you've heard her on. Make sure you hit the comments up with, um with your answers on here you know she starts off by um she starts off by um telling you what it's like to to just be where she's from and stuff like that uh it says i'm from the city where tim's is your first pair of shoes like i can relate to that you feel me i keep my tie all the way up and tight you feel me um just a dope dope track on there it was a surprise on there uh again like a lot of the features on here was surprising to me whether i knew their name or not it was really really dope how this was put together the soul of harold washington featuring tonka J. again dope production on these tracks like these productions on these tracks are so crazy to me um elaborated fruits is actually a video out for that so make sure y'all check out um the video and support your artist properly you know make sure you get the album through bandcamp or i know it's dropped on streaming services now i got the privilege to listen to this uh right as it came out so i was i was really excited about that like this was some dope some dope work put out 
um, for track 14, Callahoo Callaway featuring house shoes is really like a more of a talking track and stuff. And just like I said, he has that ability to talk to you across these tracks. But Vic Spencer, like, you know, like dog, like this right here, you crazy as hell for this. And I can see that you have a lot of ideas going on, especially across the projects that you dropped this year that I really, really, really appreciate it. So everybody, y'all better check it out. If y'all haven't heard it already, make sure you hear it. And if you did hear it, let me know what's your favorite track off of Spencer for Hire 3. But as always, I'm about to get out of here. I'm Madam Money. You can follow me on Twitter at Madam Money Says. That's M-A-D-A-M-M-O-N-E-Y-S-A-Y-S. -E as well as on IG. And I'm saying, there's some dope work coming out. You feel me? You gotta listen to us. Support your artists the right way. Peace.